Ladies and gentlemen, guys, gals, non-binary pals, it is time once again for the RLWF and the Trons not working again. Even though I fixed the Trons, we'll see. Some of them may be working, some of them may not be. <laughs> oh, 2K. I mean, the good news is I'm going to get less copyright strikes, I guess, on this one, on this video when I upload it to YouTube because uh, none of the custom music is coming through. But... Listen, you don't need music. You don't need custom trons to recognize the greatness of this man. Former men's champion, Elijah George, current owner of that front of the line case. Again, with the PLE coming up, you guys, you guys sleeping on, on Elijah George. PLE is coming up. If Jack Sullivan is defending that global championship at the PLE, there is a chance that Elijah George is going to emerge from the shadows and cash in that opportunity. So you got to keep an eye open. Elijah George, I, to be honest, Elijah George is struggling a little bit in his last couple of matches. I think he hasn't been getting in the ring consistently. And I think that that's, uh, that's kind of uh, impeded his flow a little bit, as it were. Yeah. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, kills 99.9% .9 of household germs. And I'm not sure what percentage of opponents he defeats, but uh, you can check that out on the stats page if you're watching on YouTube. Link in the description. And Mr. Clean making his way down the ramp to square off against Elijah George. Styles, you are in fact booked tonight. Let me just double check. I'm 99% sure, but now I'm doubting myself as soon as I'm saying it. Yes, you are. You are booked tonight. Mr. Clean versus Elijah George to open up an incredible card, of course, in the main event tonight. Remy Haynes, your Twitch champion, is going to defend his belt against a superstar chosen at random. By the Rando Lando Wheel of Destiny. Has Rando Lando bestowed his favor upon you? You'll have to wait until the main event to find out. Disinfecting Pyro has been released, and now we can begin. Elijah George versus Mr. Clean. Let me start that prediction. And you can let me know who you think is coming out on top. Now, as always... If you would like to have your very own superstar right there in the ring. Referee, get out of the way. Good Lord. Referee trapped in the corner. Hold that thought. Finally, the ref again, referees, get out of the way. You're interfering with the match. You're going to get yourselves hurt. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, as I was saying, if you would like to be like the referee directly in the action, all you need to do is to drop a sub to the Twitch channel or come hang out with us for a stream or two and once you've got 5,000 channel points, cash them in to have your very own superstar in the ring. I got the game, so I got you covered if you do not. And on top of that, we have... I mean, they're not showing up tonight, but we have custom Trons, custom logos, custom belts, custom everything here at the RLWF. Never a better time to join. At ringside now, the referee counting... And Mr. Clean heading back in to ensure that he is not counted out. Blaze, I'm doing well. Thank you very much. I have not had the opportunity. Thank you, Blaze, for the uh, the custom skin. I have not had the opportunity to, to put that into my Minecraft yet. I've had no time for Minecraft because I was an idiot and downloaded Planet Coaster 2. But I am going to be doing more Minecraft tomorrow. So I will definitely check out that skin. Thank you very much. Colleen with the flying crossbody hooks the leg and only got the one count. It's going to take a little more work than that to get Elijah George to lay down from three. Irish whip and oof. Nice clothesline from Clean, but reversal from George. Base first into the turnbuckle. Oof, vicious chop. Vicious chop. And driven face first into the mat from the middle rope. Oh no, he has split open Mr. Clean as we have seen time and time again. Mr. Clean switches into a different gear. 
once he is bleeding, does not want to get a red stain on that beautiful white outfit of his. But he may not have the opportunity to retaliate because Kabam! Eats the giant boot there from Elijah George. And that might be all she wrote already. Leg hooked. Oh! So close. So close. And Mr. Clean with the elbow strikes. They lock up. Elijah sent into the corner. And big uppercut from Clean. And you can see Clean riled up about being cut open. Putting the boots to Elijah George. Yeah, first match play. So you're, you, are, you are fighting tonight, but your match is not yet. Trying to pick up Elijah for the slam, but Elijah just too big. Irish whip. And oof. Connects. Daniel, welcome in, welcome in. Lex Cassidy also on the card tonight. And the splash in the corner. Clean goes to the pin. Oof, only the one. Only the one. Face first into the turnbuckle. I think uh, Elijah might have been split open there. Turning into a bloody affair in the ring here in this opening card. What a match. Elijah has him up, and that's a long way down for a suplex. Elijah close to seven feet tall. Missed on the knee. Good ring presence there from Clean. But reversed to the apron and then launched to in front of the announcer's tables. And Elijah reverses him back into the ring. You can see blood all over the ring and ringside. Both superstars showing a little color here. Turning into a bit of a street brawl at this point. Irish whip by Clean and up and over for the big back body drop. Hooks the leg. Two count only. Nice move from Elijah in the swinging neck breaker. Oh, and the sidekick. Is that going to be enough to finally put clean down? It is not. Two count only. Elijah. In the corner. Oh, thought about maybe hitting the finisher, but changed his mind. Look at the blood on Mr. Clean. On the apron and boom, drop back first. Another spinning kick and Mr. Clean is in a heap of trouble. Face first into the ring post. And Elijah heads back into the ring, but uh, I'm not sure that Mr. Clean is going to be getting back in. Elijah taunting him from inside the ring. Clean finally getting to his feet. You can see the pool of blood he left in his wake, but Clean with the clothesline. Clean decides to head back in. He'll take things into the ring. They're going to lock up. No, they are not. It is a wing clipper o'clock, and surely now that's got to be it for clean. One, two, three. Elijah George picking up the win in a brutal, bloody matchup. Again, with the down and dirty PLE coming up on Saturday. You're going to get, get used to this, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to be seeing a lot of this. A lot of this.
Elijah George with a little spinner Rooney for the fans and a victory for Elijah George. All right, next up, some tag team action. This is part of that tag team tournament. Again, we will get the Trons working. Uh, thought we had those fixed, but apparently not. Thank you, 2K, for being very 2K. Terry, wonderful, making his way to the ring first. Now, again, the tag team tournament. The tag team tournament so far... I believe the score is the Cure and the Brotherhood each have four points. The Cartel and Armed and Dangerous have two points. And Akira and Terry have zero points. So this is, I mean, clearly if they have any chance of getting into that title match, Akira and Terry are going to have to pull out a win here tonight for sure. See, Akira's is working. Some of them are working, some of them are not. We'll have to be a little 50-50 here, guys. We'll have to sort out what the issue is. They probably changed some file names or something, but... Listen, we'll work with our audio-visual team of experts and figure out exactly what's going on. But Akira Katsuyore running to the ring for an incredibly important match. I mean, honestly, if they lose this match, then I, I think that's pretty much it. I, don't think, I think mathematically, I think it's impossible for them to get into the finals, so... Everything on the line tonight for Akira and Terry. And their opponents. Here comes trouble. The Cartel. Carlito Munoz and Noah. Making their way to the ring. As noted, they have already picked up two points. So, again, another important match for them to move up to four to kind of keep themselves in contention. Very important. Now, how it's going to work, we're going to have two sets of matches again tonight, but we still have two more matches to go. So, at the PLE is going to be the final two matches in the tag team tournament. After those two matches, the team with the most points are going to go on to face Thunderstorm for those RLWF Mayhem Tag Team Champions. Championships, rather. So a huge opportunity for someone. But who is it going to be? Oh, God. RPW Chat is, is, uh, is a minefield, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I just kind of pop in, drop a meme, and then... Move on with my life a lot of times. <laughs> Noah versus Terry Wonderful to start. Carlito taking a little shot from the outside. Let me start the prediction. You can let me know who you think's coming out on top again. Terry and Akira. Zero wins so far in this tournament. So again, not Terry, not normally a tag team champion or a tag team uh, a superstar. Akira, of course, a multiple-time former champion, so a bit of a mixed bag there, but it did not seem to gel in quite the same way as some of these other teams. Carlito now winding up. Oof! Low drop kick to the side of the head. Nice counter from Terry. Again, Noah taking a shot from the outside. Listen, I mean, Noah and the cartel need these points, too. They need these points perhaps more so than Akira and Terry. I mean, even if Akira and Terry win here, they probably don't have a shot to win it all. But the cartel absolutely could stay in contention if they get the uh, the two points here tonight. But a loss would really put them behind the eight ball. So they're going to be pulling out all the stops, no doubt. Terry, wonderful, back in the match. And, oh, single leg drop kick from Munoz. And the side Russian leg sweep. Munoz pulling on the arm of Terry Wonderful, wearing him down. And wisely tagging in Noah. Up and over he goes. Beautiful suplex. And then the standing shooting star press. Another suplex from Terry Wonderful. 
And that mullet magic. Starting a hit. Takes a shot at Carlito, but Noah fighting his way back in from the apron. Sent into enemy territory. Noah in the corner. And face first into the turnbuckle he goes. And Terry Exploder Suplex into the turnbuckles, rolls him over, trying for a quick pin here, but I can't imagine he's going to get it. Only the one count against Noah. Noah back in the corner. We're going to see a little tag team action here. Akira slams him. And, oh, look at that maneuver from Terry. Wonderful. Akira on the attack now. Noah with the counter. And has him up. Oh my goodness. A DDT that breaks physics. Noah heads back to the corner and gets the tag. Akira with a one-legged dropkick of his own. And another. And Carlito wisely decides to take a little break on the outside. Akira. Enziguri on Noah. But it gives Carlito time to sneak up in behind. And oof. Uppercut off the Irish whip. Akira trying to fight back here. He needs a tag to his partner. But instead, hits the clothesline. And there it is. Terry Wonderful back in the ring. Into the corner. And Carlito. Trying to rip the mustache right off of Terry Wonderful. Invisible guy, welcome in. Perfect timing, sir. Perfect timing. Terry in the corner. And Carlito working that arm. And now grabs him by the mullet and boom! What a splash. Terry trying to get to the corner for the tag on Akira, but unable to do so. Finally gets the reversal on Carlito here in the corner. Trying to take advantage. Split him open actually on that... Uh, Hit to the turnbuckle. And able to make the tag on top of that. Carlito and Noah teaming up in the corner. Carlito's got Akira in his sights. What's he got planned? Missed on the clothesline. And Akira locks in the armbar, trying to get the submission. Carlito able to escape that fairly quickly. Akira in the corner. We're going to see some more tag team action here. Carlito launches Noah into Akira. And Noah. Rolling cutter, second rolling cutter. And you know what? Why not a third one just for fun? Boom. Leg hooked. And Terry Wonderful obviously is going to have to come in and break up that pin. No way Akira was getting up from that. Carlito. Akira in the corner, trying to fight his way out. Akira needs a tag in a bad way. Irish whip on Munoz, and oh! Sit out jawbreaker. Knocked out a tooth maybe, but it didn't knock out the man. Munoz gets the shoulder up. Face first into the turnbuckle. Slam from Akira. What's he got planned? Going to the top rope. Waiting for Carlito to get to his feet. And Akira, boom! No counter! Blocked partially by the ring post. Great camera work there, guys. But 
Akira went for that stunner from the top rope and beautifully countered by Carlito. A huge turning point there for the uh, cartel. And now another rolling splash. Connects. Rolls him over. Terry, wonderful. Can't, do, can't come in on this one. And so Akira has to kick out at the two all on his own. Back into the corner goes Katsuyore. There's the counter. And another one. A Carlito right back to work. Reversal after reversal. Counter after counter. Face first into the turnbuckle goes Munoz. And again, another counter. An incredible sequence coming out here. Akira finally landing. Oh, the axe kick. And both superstars make the tag. Noah nails Terry with that knee to the face. But Terry has him up and over for the suplex and the kip up and the leg drop. And snaps the leg. But a counter from Noah. Terry on the apron, but not for long. Tackled to ringside, and now Noah taking a few shots at Akira, but Akira fighting back. Terry back in the ring. And on the attack, Noah sent into the corner. Counter from Noah. And Enziguri connects. A leg hooked, and this time it is Akira coming in to save his partner. Noah chases him out of the ring before tagging in the mouth. Again, Carlito has been talking up a storm backstage that the cartel are going to come out of the PLE with those championships, but if they lose this match, that dream may be dead before they even get to the PLE. Noah, meanwhile, allowing Terry to get the tag and paying for it immediately. Backstabber from Noah. Oh, wow, just a straight right to the jaw. That'll do it. You don't need to get complicated. And now, little air guitar, Noah. Listen, you got to take uh, the match a little more seriously than that, I think, Noah. But the cartel still in control for now, at least. But there's the counter from Akira. Can he take advantage? Trying to drag him to the corner, but Munoz not allowing it. And another... Oh, thought he was going for the tag, but... He did not. Again, the cartel getting a little sloppy here. They're kind of, uh, I think they're maybe underestimating Akira and Terry. Of course, Akira and Terry have been uh, winless in this tournament, so I get it. But there's the powerbomb. And Noah coming in to save the day. But I think uh, the cartel getting a little, uh, getting a little uh, cocky here. They got to take things seriously. Where they're going to lose this match. At ringside now, Terry dropping the elbow. Again, in the event of a double countout or a draw of any sort, each team is going to get one point. But obviously, both teams, especially in the position they both are, are definitely in need of the full two. Terry, wonderful, with the hot shot to Noah, eight count, and Carlito has to rush in. Irish whip on Akira, and boom. Huge face buster, and now takes a shot at Terry, wonderful. 
And Munoz is going to tag in Noah. Noah grabs him from behind, but a nice counter from Katsuyori. He's got him up. And air raid crash. Leg hooked. And Munoz able to break up the pin. Gets tagged in. Wonderful tagged in. And Terry wonderful with another beautiful suplex. And Terry wonderful. Says bring it, goes coast to coast and hits him with the uppercut. Legs collapse from underneath Noah, but he's back up. Springboard. Missed, jumped right over Terry. Wonderful. Irish whip by Terry. And big back body drop. There's the pin. Is that finally enough? No. I mean, as close as it gets, ladies and gentlemen. Reverses Terry into the corner. Hits the big splash. And a one-handed slam. Terry sent into the corner. What has Noah got planned here? Drops him. And now from the middle rope. Boom! Hits the splash, hooks the leg. Only a one count, wow. I am kind of surprised by that. Terry at ringside and Noah. Tackles Akira to ringside as well. Terry taunting Noah and comes out. Noah takes the bait and Terry taking advantage. No, nice counter from Noah. Counter from Terry. Suplex, legs hitting the apron on the way down. And he gets delivered back Noah tossed back inside the ring. Carlito calls for the hot tag and gets it. Terry on the attack. Full Nelson, driver. Launches Noah. Out of the ring, he's not going to be able to break this one up. This could be it. No. Carlito gets the shoulder up. Unbelievable. A, a, an incredible, incredible display from both teams at this point. Carlito in the corner, fighting his way out. Blood pouring from his forehead. Suplex by Terry. Carlito rolls out of the ring. Terry right out after him. And face first off the apron. I think Noah still is down for the count. Oh, there. <laughs> Speak of the devil. There he is. <laughs> Side rush at leg sweep. Noah scooches past. Terry tossed back in the ring. Hurricane Rana. And now twisting the arm. That is not how arms are supposed to bend. Driving the knee. Just taking Munoz apart limb by limb. Tags in Katsuyori. Has him in the corner. There's the slam. Thinks he might have him. One, two, three. And Akira Katsuyori and Terry Wonderful pick up their first two points of the tournament. I mean, too little, too late. But I think more importantly, that really puts the cartel under the gun that really puts them under the gun 
that may have, I don't know if it's mathematically eliminated them, but it certainly made things mathematically difficult, let's put it that way, for the cartel. But listen, a great match from both teams. In the end, your winners, Akira and Terry. All right, next up, a triple threat elimination match. Three men enter, one man leaves. And out first. Fresh off a win on Max against Elijah George, it is Nova Kane. Again, an elimination match, so it is going to be the last man standing gets the win. That is as close to a last man standing match as you're going to find in your WF. Until those get fixed, because, oh boy, hard pass. As always, the Norm Can't Shoot channel brought to you by Canada Dry. Canada Dry. Please sponsor me. There we go. There's my pitch. One last sneaky sip. Nova Kane heading to the ring. Next up. It is the one, the only, William the Hammer Styles. The pyro lights, the guns are showing. And William Styles making his way down the ramp to the ring. Styles with a big win last week against, I believe, Mr. Clean, unless I am mistaken. So looking to keep that success going. And last but certainly not least, coming off an impressive win against Sean Lachlan on Max in that brutal, brutal two out of three tables match. He has been uh, stitched up <laughs> after that match. And right back to work here, out of the frying pan, into the fire in this triple threat match. It is Takuma. Fans letting out the booze, and Takuma could not care less. Takuma's Tron working just fine, thankfully. Takuma versus Nova Kane versus William the Hammer Styles in a triple threat elimination match. Let me start the prediction. And you can let me know who you think is coming out on top. There's the bell. And Nova Kane coming right at Takuma, and Takuma just launching him into outer space. Maybe not the smartest idea from Nova Kane. Now the springboard connects on William Styles, but right into the grip of Takuma and paying the price. What an interception. Nice move from Styles, grabbed from behind by Nova. And Nova Kane with a nice DDT on Takuma as well. Hard into the corner. And Styles in the corner, and Takuma just launched himself at him. Good lord. But walks into another DDT from Nova Kane. Takuma in the corner, and oh, out of the way with incredible quickness. Styles shaking the cobwebs out at ringside. And Takuma drives him into the mat. Styles has Takuma up, but Takuma fighting his way free. Springboard from Nova Kane connects the rear elbow. Nova Kane and Takuma trying for something, but William Styles stops them with a double noggin knocker and into the exploder suplex. Nova Kane rolls out. Styles. 
Oh, look at the strength of William Styles. That's core strength, baby. That's core strength. Nova Kane has a guitar. And boom, right across the back of William Styles. He did not see that one coming. He's reaching under the ring for anything And garbage can tossed in there by Takuma. Nova's going to go for the pin, but change his mind the last minute. Takuma's going to roll out of the ring. Back in, tries to grab Styles from behind, does so, and up and over. Oh, vicious. Irish whip spinning back fist to Nova Kane. And now William Styles eating a couple of sharp elbows to the ribs at the hands of Takuma. Nice counter. Nova Kane with that low drop kick. Irish whip. Knee connects. And Styles over the top rope onto the apron. Takuma. Big headbutt to Nova Kane. And oh my good, just driving those body shots into William Styles. Absolute chaos. Again, Styles is not going to interrupt these pins because uh, it is an elimination match, so he's all too happy to have Nova Kane pin Styles. Oh no. Putting the squeeze. He's got a thumb on the temple. Trying to get Styles to submit, but Styles manages to power his way out somehow. The uh, stats page, by the way, should be fully updated. I think even with the YouTube links, I did that um, earlier today on my lunch hour. So. In theory, all the stats should be up to date. Nice counter there from Nova Kane as Takuma comes in with the chair. Nova Kane wisely gets to him first, and Nova Kane with the exploder suplex. There's the pin. No, only the one. And Styles drops Nova Kane off that top rope, flattens Takuma with a big clothesline. Styles accidentally tossed into the referee. And suplexes Takuma right on top of that garbage can. Nova Kane has a stepladder out there. Everyone fighting on the outside. Again, not a false count anywhere. There's no, uh, no count outs, but has to be finished inside the ring. Takuma waiting for an opportunity to strike here and finds it. As Kane up, and oh no. Oh! A vicious neck breaker onto the concrete floor. But here comes William the Hammer. Exploder suplex. Kane grabs a hockey stick and goes to town on Takuma. All three superstars in the corner. They're going to have to bring this back into the ring at some point, but not quite yet. They lock up Nova Kane, just handing out elbows like he's Oprah. You get a series of elbows. You get a series of elbows. Everybody gets a series of elbows. Styles finally tossed back into the ring. Takuma in after him. Kane grabs a microphone. We know he likes to talk about himself, but I don't think that's what he has in mind. And Takuma F10. And then immediately attacked from behind with the microphone. Driven face first into the mat. And 
Nova Kane's trying to steal the pin. Only got the two. Only got the two. Grabs the chair. Takuma rolls in and pow! Split open with a, care, a chair shot. Kane rolls out. Takuma versus Styles inside the ring. Styles sent into the corner. Takuma grabs the microphone. We know he is a man of few words. And now, with the Iron Claw, trying to make Nova Kane tap. And Kane once again powering his way out of that submission hold. No easy feat against someone the size of Takuma. And Spinebuster connects. That could be it, though. For Takuma, no. Nova Kane tossed that trash can. That Styles just barely missed his head. And oh! Finisher by Nova Kane. Is that enough to put Styles out of action? It is not two count only. Takuma with the guitar, but a nice reversal into the submission by Nova Kane. Trying to make the big man tap. Takuma has taken a beating, but will not give up. Springboard from Nova Kane connecting. Hooks the leg again. Is that finally enough? No. Takuma once again gets the shoulder up. Listen, kudos to Nova Kane having a great match, but the resilience of Takuma. Tough to counter. The ring and ringside littered with weaponry. And power bomb. Takuma uh, expressing his feelings in a non-verbal manner from the outside. Nice block from Styles. Styles with the with the spine buster again. That's surely now. Takuma. The first elimination, we are down to William Styles versus Nova Kane. Big knee to the midsection. Styles wasting no time going after Nova Kane here. This is just an overwhelming amount of offense on him. Yeah, it's to pull out some form of offense here. And boom. Attacking the arm. Pounding away from the mounted position and not in the good way. Styles grabbing the steel chair and wham! Nova Kane has got to get something going and quick because Styles is starting to run away with it. And he has fired up the crowd, cheering loudly. Nova Kane missed on this. Missed on that punch. More elbows. They lock up. And Kane. Hit with the knee. Styles has him up again. And oh, missed on the backhand. And oh! The pop-up uppercut out of nowhere from Nova Kane. He's gonna try and sneak a little win here. Two count only. Nova Kane knew how close he was right there. And now, oh, a vicious suplex. Off the ropes, rolling senton. And Nova Kane turning this match around. Misses with the trash can. Styles takes advantage. Referee directly in the way again. And Nova Kane right there to take advantage. There's the pin. One, two, three, Nova Kane picking up the huge win against William Styles and Takuma. Here is your winner, Nova Kane.
you gotta think he was the underdog coming into this match but listen perseverance and a little bit of luck will get you far in the rlwf All right, back to singles action. All right, I love this guy. And out first. The following contest. It is uh, Blaze. Undefeated. Oklahoma, weighing in at 260 pounds. Eight and O, oh, unless I am mistaken. Blaze on fire. Thus far, I mean, this is a about a hottest start for a rookie as we've ever had. But of course, increased pressure on Blaze. Once you once you've got that win streak going, each match it gets harder and harder and harder. But if anybody is up to the challenge, it is that man, Blaze. Fans showing their appreciation. Listen, they know how tough the competition is here. So getting uh, going seven and zero. Oh. Is no easy feat. Is he seven or oh, eight? Eight? No. I'm trying to look here in the stats page myself here to see. Seven and zero. Oh, I think after beating uh, uh, Ben Fuller for the in that number one contenders match. This is a guy who always seeks out the highest level of competition. Yeah, indeed, seven and zero. Oh. And we are going to be seeing Blaze versus Malik at the PLE this weekend. Oh yeah, I am pumped for this guy. But tonight, a Blaze is fighting another rookie who has had an impressive run here thus far in season three and it is Justin Hawkins Justin Hawkins already had a shot against Jack Sullivan lost that one in a nail biter by a submission as I recall that tequila sunrise laying out superstars left right and center but Justin Hawkins has been Incredible. The Extreme versus Blaze. He's in perhaps the best physical condition of A clash life. between the two of the hottest superstars right now on Mayhem. And it should be a great one. What are you expecting from this superstar tonight? Let me start the prediction. You can let me know. Is Justin Hawkins going to be the man that finally ends the win streak of Blaze? Or is he just number eight? Refuses to ever back down from a fight. Refuses to back down from any challenge. He's not exactly the sharpest. Play starting off strong. Oof. Nice clothesline there from Hawkins. Hawkins. Again, this is what Hawkins is going to have to do. He's going to have to use that speed, that agility. He's going to have to keep Blaze off balance if he wants to win. Blaze, obviously, the bigger, stronger man. But Hawkins holding his own here. What a combination. Just combination after combination. Has Blaze reeling in the corner. And Hawkins. Oh, goodness. What a face buster. Zeke saying he's going to keep a close eye on Blaze. Look out. That's either very good news or very bad news, or maybe a little bit both. <laughs> Depending on the intentions. Hits the cutter. Oh, I thought he ended it right there. I thought he ended it right there. And oh, splits him open with that huge right to the face Irish whip and place 
with the spear. And oh, <laughs> thought he had that again. Big boot blaze absolutely dominating right now. And missed on the springboard, but Justin Hawkins running out of time to turn this match around. Irish whip and Blaze catches him mid-air and drops him into the rib breaker. Into the corner he goes. Justin Hawkins though, to his credit, continuing to fight. But Blaze starting to pull away with it. Dropped off the top rope. Counter from Hawkins. Blaze right back to work. Hawkins with another counter. Sling blade. Drop kick to the side of the head. And now locking in the submission hold. Blaze able to roll out of that one fairly quickly, but caught him off guard, I think, the, the uh, submission. They lock up. Irish Whip sends him over the top rope and to ringside. Blaze coming out after him. Not a false count anywhere here. <laughs> Zeke just Zeke just not even Zeke just openly openly planning right here right in front of her that's that's the that's that's the confidence that Zeke has he doesn't need any behind the scenes shenanigans oh stunner Look at that. Blaze just took that stunner and then got right back up again. Unbelievable. At a six count, some mounted punches from Blaze. He better get back in there. These gladiators are rushed. The game plans have been pushed to the limit. Who is enough to fight out of this war? And they both get in just under the gun here for that count out. Blaze has him up. And from the top rope, the forearm. They lock up Blaze. Irish whip. Shot to the midsection. Hawkins catches the foot, though. Trying to get something going, and boom! Hits the stunner again! Is Justin Hawkins going to beat the streak? No, not yet. Not yet. Blaze gets the shoulder up. That is two stunners. And still, no win for Hawkins. You can see Hawkins absolutely running on fumes at this point. Oh! Face buster and Blaze is going to roll out of the ring. Hawkins getting himself fired up and through the middle rope, but Blaze steps aside on the suicide dive. And Justin Hawkins, though, staying in the fight. Hawkins setting up Blaze here at ringside. And boom! Fans chanting one more time. Sling blade. I'm not sure what the count is at here, but they're going to have to get back in that ring. We might see a count out here at some point. Referee giving them the warning. Blaze hits the elbows. It's an eight count. Blaze slides in. He might win this one by countout. There's the nine. Hawkins slides in just in time. But right into the clotheslines of Blaze. And his legs continue to get pushed in this match. Yeah, and he has 
They lock up Irish Whip and Blaze with another spear. That's got to be it. One, two, three. Blaze, your winner over Justin Hawkins. And that is FTN Colm. Out of nowhere, attacking with the kendo stick. Of course, Blaze set to meet Malik at the PLE for that All-Star Championship. Malik and Colm both in the cure. So some typical cure funny business. Now again, the problem with Colm. Now Colm, the last time we saw Colm on Shock, he actually attacked THP during a match with Juve. So I don't know if this is like uh, an apology or I don't know what is going on with Colm. But listen, obviously cure shenanigans going on. Uh, but Blaze still, despite it all, keeping the win streak going 8-0. All right, more tag team action. You can see the ladders at the side of the ring. It is going to be a ladder tag match. Out first from Shock. It is Rachel Warren, two-time former women's tag team champion, looking to become three-time champion. The winner of this match is going to join Beautiful Becca and Jeannie Gorgeous, the Stunners, who are the current women's champions, and Silencio and Bobby in a six-woman tornado tag match. Exact stipulations to be determined at the PLE for the women's championship. So huge, huge opportunity for Lexi Knight and Rachel Warren. Absolutely. And again, a big challenge for the Stunners in a, uh, a, a six-person tornado tag. Makes it that much more difficult to retain. MLK versus Malik. I mean, listen, I think we can all agree that Malik um, has uh, you know, about the same cultural importance, I would think. I mean, it's, it's up there, you know what I mean? So I don't think that's an unfair comparison. All right, their opponents tonight, it is a Tonga and the Mauler. Now, Tonga, it's a, it's a weird, let me explain to you how this all works. Tonga and Mauler beat the Stunners, but they lost to Silencio and Bobby. Silencio and Bobby beat the Stunners and Tonga and Mauler. And then to make things more confusing, Lexi and Rachel beat Silencio and Bobby. So it's like a wheel, which is why that we're trying to get this all sorted out here tonight. So again, the winner of this match is going to be put into a six-woman tornado tag match for the titles at the PLE this Saturday. Kyle, exactly. It's, I mean, it's one for one. How could you choose between the two in terms of cultural importance? Really? And here we go. Ladder tag match. Let me start the prediction. And you can let me know who you think's going to the PLE for a shot at the women's tag team titles. Again, Tonga and Mahler have been there before. Rachel Warren has been there before. Lexi Knight has never held a belt in the RLWF. And it would be a huge coup for her. But in order to get that opportunity, she has got to get up that ladder and get the case. Big drop kick there from Mahler. As Rachel brings a ladder into the ring, but Tonga with the running bulldog from behind. Lexi tossed outside. Rachel outside. Tonga's going to run interference, and Mahler's going to try and get up that ladder. Tonga trying to keep Lexi and Rachel busy. Rachel finally notices what's going on, going in after Mahler, but is she going to have time? Rachel heads up to the top of the ladder to duke it out with the Mahler.
Drop kick by Tonga. Sends Lexi out of the ring and Mahler and Tonga both attacking Rachel now. Power bombed off the ladder by Tonga. And Mahler's going to go from the top of the ladder. An elbow. I think it missed. I couldn't see because someone was in the way. I could not see, but I think that might have missed. Rachel got up awfully fast. We'll have to check the replay on that one. And now Lexi Knight heading up to the top of the ladder, but Mahler right there grabs her by the belt and hurls her. Back down into the ring, Tonga and Rachel going at it on the outside. Lexi back up that ladder. Tonga and Mahler in there. Mahler's going up the top of the ladder and oh, eye rake from Lexi and they, oh, Tonga knocks them both. I mean, her own partner fell, but taking no chances. Tonga and Mahler want those belts back around their waists. They will do anything to get it. Rachel taking care of business against Mahler and Alexi is gonna scamper up there one more time, I think. One of them is. Lexi up the ladder. Rachel running interference here. Sends Tonga into the corner. Lexi has done it. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, Rachel Warren and Lexi Knight are going to the PLE with a chance to win the Women's Tag Team Championship. Unbelievable. Unbelievable victory. Tonga and Mahler. Again, Tonga and Mahler went from beating the champions in a non-title match to not even facing them at the PLE. Incredible, incredible victory. King Kyle heading to the ring and Drew Payne, his opponent, attacking the back of the knee of King Kyle before he even gets to the ring. Again, more cure shenanigans here. Kyle, of course, a potential opponent for Jack Sullivan, fellow cure member and global champion at the PLE. And so the cure taking no chances. Drew targeting the leg of Kyle Akanye. We're going to have to see whether he's done any damage or whether uh, King Kyle can shake it off. But either way, getting an advantage here. Off the jump, let me start the prediction. The cure up to their necks in shenanigans this week. Five count, Kyle tossed to the corner from Drew Payne. Missed on that maneuver again. They're gonna have to get back in this ring. We might see a double count out. Drew face first into the ring post, now finally in the ring. King Kyle with those forearm strikes to the chest on Drew Payne and he falls to the ringside. I mean, listen, the problem the cure has, Zeke, is that, you know, like, again, with the uh, Bobby Silencio project uh, already kind of paying off benefits, you know, there was an opportunity, but the cure, of course, when they turn up the, when they turn up the heat like this, it's just gonna call attention. And again, not just the, not just from the Brotherhood, but from uh, Yuve and the Wild Ones and all of these, uh, uh, you know, OG RLWFers who are getting mighty sick of the whole affair as well. So, as always, THP working behind the scenes to stir the pot in the RLWF. And the Drew with the side Russian leg sweep. Stomping away, giving King Kyle a run for his money here. Now locking in the wrist. 
Exactly. And again, I mean, you know, Silencio and Bobby already in that in that uh, title match against the Stunners. So they could very well emerge as champions on Saturday. And oh, swinging neckbreaker from King Kyle into the handstand splash. But Drew Payne fighting on. Of course, Drew Payne and his partner, Mr. Mondo. With four big points in that tag team tournament, but not in action this week. And so Drew Payne free to take on a little singles action. Ahead of the PLE. Hooks the leg, thinks he might have him. I don't know that I agree, but oh, I was almost proven wrong there. <laughs> Into the referee, springboard over the referee, knocks him over. Referee, get out of the way. I have no pity for the referee. The referee took a bump. I have no pity. He is directly in the way at all times. Nice reversal there from King Kyle. And Kyle straight jacket, neck. Referee finally up in time for the pin. Only a one kick. Only the one. And a spear. Leg hooked. Oof, two count. Drew Payne gets that shoulder up. Springboard from Kyle. Connects. Going for the pin again. King Kyle determined to get this win over Drew Payne. After that attack from Drew Payne. I mean, the leg looks pretty good. Despite the attack. Oh. What a move from King Kyle. And missed on the dive from the top rope. Drew Payne with the power slam. I, I think uh, behind the scenes, Kyle, that's uh, that's 2K, I think, because uh, uh, sometimes when it puts you in a, when you get it, when you get in a cutscene, sometimes it uh, screws up which which attire you're choosing. So I think he's got your old, your unkingly attire. That's all right. A little throwback. Nothing wrong with that. Double underhook. And boom. Is that enough to put away Drew Paint? It is not. Shoulder up. They both missed on that one. Drew Payne with the springboard drop kick. And the big boots. A great back and forth match, this one. Knee strike to the face and Kyle crawling to the corner. Drew Payne. Gloating to the crowd. On the attack here. Oof, Pele kick to the top of the head. Drew Payne thinks this is it. Thinks he might have him. Oof, he does not. Two count only. Drew Payne can't believe it. Irish whip. Oh, splits him open with a vicious kick to the face and surely that's got to be it no king kyle gets the shoulder up but drew Payne. oh nice counter nice counter from a kanye and boom the cyclone kick to the back hooks the leg middle of the ring two count again man oh man Drew on the apron. Kyle's going to join him, knocks him to ringside. 
And a ripcord knee strike. And another. Drew Payne writhing in agony on the ground at ringside. And King Kyle fired up. Fired up and so are the crowd. I don't know that Drew's getting up from this one. Struggles to his feet. Five count. Rolls back in. Kyle right back on the attack. Reversed into the Irish whip though. Nice combination here from Drew. Kyle in the corner again. And Drew unloading. Look at the foot washes. Coast to coast. And one more. Drew Payne just taking a quick breather on the outside. Kyle decides to do the same. And boom. What a DDT from King Kyle. Drew back in the ring. Nice dodge. King Kyle unloading, has him backed into the corner. Clothesline to the back of the head. And now just stomping him into the dirt. Kyle! Beautiful move. Moonsault from the top rope. Two count again. What is going on? Drew Payne struggles to get to his feet in the corner, and Kyle sends him to the apron. There's the knee, middle rope, and oh! A vicious leg drop sends him to ringside, and Kyle's not done. Top rope, and oh, missed. Missed on the swanton bomb. Drew Payne able to get out of the way, but King Kyle right back to work. Oh, forget about it. Forget Drew Payne is dead. RIP Drew Payne. He had a good run. No, Drew Payne back from the dead. Man, oh man, what a match. Kyle tossed back into the ring. Drew Payne catching his breath before heading back in. Both men exhausted. Drew Payne trying to get the crowd on his side here. I don't know if that's uh, going to work. On the top rope, though. And boom. DDT. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Kyle in the corner. And Drew Payne. Coast to coast. And again. Another super kick. And a third super kick. Goes for the pin. This could be it. One, two, three. Your winner, Drew Payne over King Kyle. Gloating. Over King Kyle, of course. Kyle set to face possibly Jack Sullivan. Oh, no. Oh no, Drew Payne not done yet, targeting the leg again and again. With the knee, shoves the referee, unloading with the chair shots onto that left knee of Kyla Kanye. We may need to get the stretcher out here for King Kyle. Disgusting behavior as always from the cure, but an impressive victory for Drew Payne all the same. All right, over to the women's division for a little triple threat action and out first. The Jordanian juggernaut, it is a Faria Mohammed. Making her way, former women's champion Faria Mohammed. 
Love this intro music too. Love it. All available on the RLWF Spotify list, which believe it or not is an actual thing. <laughs> Maria Mohammed, the fans' a lover. And next up, another former women's champion. The boss of bosses, the A to the L, Ember Leon. Again, fans obviously. Obviously in love with Amber Leon, aren't we all? In a non-creepy, non-youth-like way. Amber Leon and Faria Mohammed. We will have to wait and see who the third participant is in this triple threat match. Not an elimination match like the last one. This one is straight up triple threat. Falls count anywhere, though. Falls count anywhere on this one. Zeke, you are getting close, sir. Uh, you are the next match. Such an incredible journey for this there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like her a lot. Well, listen. The good news, Zeke, is this might be a quick match because the third participant in this triple threat match is your victory champion, Marcella Drossi, the unstoppable one. From Making her way to the ring. Again, I cannot see who is going to take that victory championship from her. This is, of course, a non-title match. But Marcella Drossi, I mean, unstoppable in every possible way. I, my prediction is that she is going to go into Slamaganza 3 as the champion. I think she doesn't lose before Slamaganza 3. And yes, I know Slamaganza 3 is not till like March. And it is now mid-November. But that is how dominant she has been in the Mayhem Women's Division. But you couldn't ask for tougher competition in a triple threat match than Amber Leon and Faria Mohammed. Let's start the prediction. You can let me know if you think who you think is going to win. Locks up with Amber. Double underhook suplex. Oh my god, almost tossed her out of the ring. Faria ejects her from the ring, turns her attention to Amber. Faria coming off a win against Sonya Gray on Max. Marcella back in the ring. Locks up with Amber. Amber. Oh, what is this move? Oh, a beautiful slam there from Amber. Who is then promptly ejected from the ring. But oh my goodness, a devastating tackle from Faria into the mounted punches. Again, Faria and Amber... It's a triple threat match, but you got to think that their focus is going to have to be on Marcella. And oof, that is exactly what Faria is doing. Knocks the legs out from underneath her. Again, a falls count anywhere match, so pinfalls and submissions do count out here. Once again, just taking the legs out from under her. Faria coming into this with uh, the attack the leg strategy that I am very fond of. Into a submission hold. But Marcella almost immediately trying her way out of that one. Amber's got the right idea. She has a sledgehammer. Waiting for her moment to strike and gets her right in the small of the back. Right in the tramp stamp. And Marcella just stomping Faria with that big boot and then face first into the ring post she goes. Compliments of Amber Leon. They lock up. Amber fighting back. And Faria tosses the champ back into the ring. She's going to go in after her. As does Amber. Big double axe handle to the face. 
And a block from Marcella Hiptos. Irish whip. And pop up. Inverse power slam. Maria taking the opportunity, though, to get some mounted punches in and maybe a few more. Of course, a lot of history between Marcella and Faria. Marcella, uh, of course, the one who took the belt from Faria the last time. And Faria was traditionally the strongest woman in the RLWF, but I think that uh, Marcella has taken that title. Faria does not take kindly to that either. Oof, huge drop kick there from Amber. And now Marcella and Amber double teaming on Faria. Strange bedfellows in a triple threat match. Amber attacks from behind though. Marcella in the corner. Amber ramps up coast to coast. Misses. And now Marcella has her up above her head. And power slam. Springboard connects as well. Faria heading back inside the ring. Drags Amber to the corner, but attack from behind by Mohammed. Into the corner. Big splash. The one arm body slam right on the logo. And Faria up and over for the Falcon Arrow. Tries to stomp her, but Marcella just rolls quickly out of the ring for a little rest. Faria hard into the corner from Amber Leon. Wow. And now snaps the arm. Sledgehammer still out there at ringside. Nobody's uh, taking advantage of that one. And Amber into the arm bar. But Marcella breaks that up before Faria has a chance to submit. Faria rolls out of the ring. Marcella repositioning Amber. Springboard connects. And Marcella, no reversal from Amber, but oh no, Amber escapes Marcella and then right into a running bulldog from Faria Mohammed and Marcella taking advantage. Amber sends her into the corner. Counter from Brosi. DDT. And now Faria showing off the guns as well. Gorilla press and the moonsault, leg hooked. Amber slides in to break up the pin. And now Amber with the neck breaker. I guess reverse DDT. And Amber slam, leg hooked. Marcella nowhere to be found. Oh, only the two counts. So close for Amber Leon. And now Marcella, oh my god, with a vicious hip toss. Maria tried again to get her from behind. Look at these nice counters. Referee directly in the way of Amber Leon, but she changes targets quickly. DDT. Irish whip. Maria with the spine buster. Marcella left alone in the ring to recover. I'm not sure if that's the wisest move. Face first into the apron goes Faria. Amber reversed into the corner, running Bulldog from behind by Faria. Marcella into the steel steps and now, boom, another Amber slam. Leg hooked. Oh. Unbelievable. Faria kicks out of two Amber Slams. So close. Marcella tossed into the ring. Faria reversed into the ring as well. 
All three participants back inside the squared circle. Faria with the elevated wrist lock. Oh, that looks so painful. That really does. Referee takes a bump as, as uh, Mar uh, Marcella went for the clothesline on Faria. Caught a little piece of the ref. Spears Amber in the corner. And boom. Big suplex. Has her up. And power slams again. Amber Leon in real trouble here. As is the referee, apparently. A great match all around here. And now Marcella on the receiving end of the famous triple backbreakers of the Jordanian juggernaut. But here comes Am oh, Amber went for the drop kick, but missed. Faria with the sidewalk slam. Two count only. Amber kicks out this time. To be honest, Marcella Drossi has been less of a factor in this match than I was anticipating. Another backbreaker, this time Faria cinching it in on Amber Leon. Amber in the corner, Faria with the big splash. And the one-handed slam. Locks up with Marcella, drags her to the corner, face first into that turnbuckle. And oof, takes a shot. Amber though, running Bulldog from behind. Faria rolls out, Amber going after Faria again. I feel like they're making a mistake not concentrating on Marcella. We all know who the most dangerous superstar in this match is. Faria tossed aside, turns her attentions to Marcella. Trading blows in the corner here, and Amber, once again, boom, flattens her. Face first into the concrete. And now Faria goes for the suplex. Nice counter from Amber. Marcella interjects. Pump handle. Oh, my goodness. Faria fighting back. An incredible triple threat match. Faria into the ring post and Marcella stops to strike a pose before flattening her with the clothesline. Amber finally getting to her feet here. Marcella waiting patiently here, deciding who she's going to go after. Amber tossed in the ring. Faria tossed in the ring. Oof. The leg drop from Marcella, flattening Amber. Amber, though, waiting in behind. Marcella ready for her, though, picks her up. Into the turnbuckle, tossed aside like yesterday's newspaper. Stomping away, Faria at ringside. Heads in, there's the pin. And Faria there to stop it. And Marcella with a nice reversal. Continuing the attack on Amber, just tossing her around the ring. Amber rolls out of the ring, and now the elevated wrist lock to Marcella. Amber grabs that sledgehammer, not a bad idea, and goes to work. Pummeling Faria, and no, Marcella got to her first. Marcella with the hammer lock. Oof, into the side slam. And now Marcella, look at the strength. Just deadlifting her from the ground into the military press. And drops her. Amber flat on her back at ringside, only just now getting to her feet. Counter from Faria into the DDT. Marcella rolls out, 
A golden opportunity for either Amber or Farida to take this match. Side slam, leg hooked. Marcella in and oof. Amber got the shoulder up. Pin on Drosy, but Faria right there. And Mohammed goes for the power bomb, but Amber fighting on. And now Amber. Straight jacket neck breaker. You can see, I mean, the exhaustion setting in, no doubt, for all three participants. Amber sweeps the legs from underneath Faria. She's going to go top rope. We're going to see an 80-20 on Marcella. We are. Connects. But Faria right there. Marcella rolls out of the ring. Amber tossed outside. Man, oh man, what a match. Women's wrestling does not get any better than this, ladies and gentlemen. You're not going to find this level of competition anywhere. Anywhere on the internet. There's the pin. Referee way, way, way out of position. And Marcella able to get the shoulder up. Faria blows a kiss to Amber, and Amber responds. Trying for the suplex, rolled up, but Marcella, keeping a close eye, able to break that up. Would have been a not a bad idea, a little sneaky pin for the win. Amber with the drop kick, Faria back in. Chop block on Leon. And Faria with the backbreaker, cinching it in. Mounted punches as Amber Leon heads back into the ring, waiting for an opportunity, and oh my goodness, her opportunity hit her like a Mack truck. Swinging side slam from Faria. Marcella rolls out, Amber. Snaps the arm, maybe setting up the arm bar for, I mean, a submission finish would be a good option for Amber, working the arm again a second time, clearly setting up the arm bar. But she may not get the opportunity as Amber with the hammerlock side slam. And now, oh no, pow! Drives that elbow right into the forehead of Amber Leon. Korea stomping on the champ, but Amber, Amber slam. Leg hooked, Marcella right there to break it up. A golden opportunity again. That is the third Amber slam that Faria has taken in this match. Clothesline from Marcella. And Marcella just grabs her by the neck and tosses her. Quick power slam. And goes for the pin. Has Amber got enough of the tank to kick out? She does not. And once again, once again, Marcella Grossi unstoppable. I mean, I'm telling you people, I am calling it now. I'm calling it now. No one has taken that belt off of her. And she is going to go into Slamaganza 3 as your victory champion. She might even leave Slamaganza 3 as your victory champion. There may never be another victory champion. We may have to kill the belt. It may be game over for the victory championship. Marcella has that on lock. All right, the next match in the Tag Team Tournament. We've got some big news to share as well in just a moment. But coming out first, Smash Sanchez and Freddy Gonzalez representing Armed and Dangerous. Again, Armed and Dangerous with two points thus far in the tournament. The following contest is Looking to increase that total. All the way to the ring at a combined weight of 525 pounds. 
Again, the final set of matches are going to be uh, 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 for that count for points are going to be held at the PLE itself, and so it is. So the winner of the tournament, who's going to have to face Thunderstorm for the belts, are quite likely wrestling two matches that day. So not ideal, but you got to do what you got to do if you want to get those belts. Freddy Gonzalez and Smash Sanchez wait for their opponents and their opponents, ladies and gentlemen, representing the Brotherhood. It is Lex Cassidy and Zeke. Now, speak of the devil, we have been advised just before this match that there has been some uh, backroom dealing right here live behind the scenes in the locker room and Zeke has announced that Blaze has joined the Brotherhood Unbelievable! maybe that attack from the Cure was not the smartest idea if it has driven Blaze into the welcoming embrace of the Brotherhood but that is a huge pickup for the Brotherhood a huge huge pickup for the Brotherhood. Especially where Blaze is going to be heading into the PLE uh, to face Malik for the All-Star Champion. He might emerge this weekend as a new belt in the Brotherhood stable. Unbelievable. Alright. But for now, they've got to uh, concentrate on this match. Smash Sanchez versus Lex Cassidy starting out. Let me start the prediction. And you can let me know who you think is going to win. Oh! Stunner from Cassidy trying to end this one early. Two count only. I mean, listen, some uh, some impressive advanced scouting here from Zeke. That's like picking up the hot new rookie. Nice counter there from Sanchez. Smash Sanchez sends Cassidy into the corner. Again, the Brotherhood on... Oh, no. Coast to coast slams him into the turnbuckles. He's not done. And again. Has him up and oof, off the top rope. There's the pin. Only a one count. Only a one count. Takes more than that to get the Messiah. Listen, though, Messiah's whole deal is rising again. You're not going to catch him on a one. Tried for the hot tech and. Smash Sanchez said no, 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 no. Sends him into the corner. Nice counter from Lex. Double axe handle. And Smash Sanchez tags in Freddy Gonzalez, but Lex also gets the tag. Freddy putting a boot into the neck of Zeke in the corner. Grabs Cassidy on the way back to the corner. Sends him out of the ring the opposite way. Zeke fighting back here. Again, the Brotherhood with four points, armed and dangerous with two points. So a win here from the Brotherhood would put them into a commanding lead heading into the PLE, but... A win here from Armed and Dangerous to put them right in the mix with the Brotherhood and the Cure. This could be right down to that final match at the PLE. This could be a nail biter. There could be a there could be a, a tie in the points. We really don't know what the protocol is for that. We'll have to wait and see. Snap suplex and Zeke rolls out of the ring. Freddy. Takes a shot at Cassidy. Smash Sanchez now locking up with Zeke, sending him back into the ring. Cassidy 
ejected forcefully. Oh, Zeke with the dive roll into the spear. Nicely done, and Freddy makes the hot tag to Smash Sanchez. Look at the size of Smash Sanchez. Good Lord. It's like a Volvo fighting in the ring. It's ridiculous. Sanchez has him up. And neck first off the top rope. Stomping away. Smash Sanchez fired up. Locks up Irish Whip. And oh! Pop up Gut Buster. Hooks that leg. Two count only. Zeke able to get the shoulder up, but. Man, oh man, taking a shellacking here at the hands of Sanchez. Into the corner he goes. And Smash Sanchez trying to rip that left arm right out of the socket. And now face wash. And again, the disrespect. But Zeke, with the counter, he needs a tag in a bad way. But Smash Sanchez right back to work. Irish whip and boom. Power slam, middle of the ring. Zeke finally makes the hot tag though. Good presence of mind from Zeke to get the hot tag, but he is down for the count as you can see. Can barely make it back to the corner. Big knee strike on Zeke. Smash Sanchez chases Zeke out of the corner. Zeke still being attacked by Smash Sanchez. Sanchez takes a running knee to the face of Lex Cassidy. Into the corner. Face first into the turnbuckle. And more face washes here. This time for Cassidy. And now the alley -oop. Smash Sanchez, a one-man wrecking crew in there right now. Reversed into the corner, though, by Cassidy, and it's going to give him an opportunity at least to make a tag. Zeke back in the match, and Smash so oh. Hit the Superman punch. And Zeke, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Setting up Sanchez. Zeke with the heavens to hell on Smash Sanchez. The strength of Zeke, unbelievable. Two count, oh, almost a three. Freddy came in and kicked Zeke, but Zeke just shrugged it off and stayed in the pin. That is focus, baby. Focus and sacrifice. And Sanchez wisely is going to tag in the Puerto Rican assassin here. That beautiful top drawer drop kick. Freddy Gonzalez has got to buy his partner a little bit of time to get rested. Missed on that drop kick a little bit off, uh, off center. And Zeke taking advantage. Nice suplex. Counter from Gonzalez. And Sanchez tagged back in. Zeke rolls out. And Sanchez launches Cassidy into the front row. Irish whip by Zeke. Oh, big combination connecting here. And oh, another Superman punch connects. Zeke looks fired up. And now just ripping at the face of Smash Sanchez. Sanchez rolls out of the ring. And Zeke over the top rope. What a move. 
driving the back of his skull into that concrete floor, and Zeke has taken control here against Smash Sanchez. Again, just ripping into the face of Smash Sanchez. Rolls back inside the ring and, oh, tackles Freddy Gonzalez as well. And the Messiah tagged in. It's a seven count. Sanchez out on his feet. I'm not sure he's going to get back in here for the 10. Referee giving him a warning saying, wake up. Smash Sanchez. There's the nine and Smash Sanchez just under the gun. Wow, that was awfully close to a count out. Lex misses on the knee, gives Sanchez the opportunity. Irish whip and oh, pop up gut buster. There's the pin. Two count only. Into the corner he goes, and we're going to see a little tag team action here from Armed and Dangerous. Slingshot it into the corner, and what do we got going on here? Oh, the double kicks to the midsection. And Freddy continuing that good work. Oh, Lit him open by grinding the sole of his boot into his forehead. Freddy doing a good job keeping him in that safe corner, and that's exactly the advantage right there. Smash Sanchez taking a shot. And pump handle backbreaker. Freddy goes for the pin. Two count only Lex with the kick out. Freddy pummeling Cassidy. And the side Russian leg sweep. Beautiful suplex and Lex Cassidy in a heap of trouble. And only getting worse as Freddy climbs the top rope. The frog splash connects. Leg hooked. And Zeke comes in to save his partner's bacon. Freddy doesn't like the interference and uh, takes a shot at Zeke. And oh, DDT sends him flying. What a move from Freddy Gonzalez on Zeke. Lex back in the ring now. They're going to lock up Irish Whip by Cassidy. Hit him with the Claymore. Freddy into the corner. Cassidy on that middle rope. And oof. Beautiful snap suplex. Back into the corner he goes. And it looks like Cassidy might be going to the well again. And boom, it pays off. Gonzalez in need of a tag, but instead goes right back to the... If he does the suplex again. No, he doesn't. Face first into the turnbuckle he goes. And oh, finally, Freddy with a counter. Trying to fight his way out, but super kick to the front, super kick to the back. And now Cassidy setting him up. Bad news for Gonzalez. Boom. Smash Sanchez coming in to break up that pin. Freddy rolls out. Lex. Takes a shot at Smash as Zeke is going to toss Freddy back into the ring. No, Freddy reverses Zeke into the ring. Lex comes out to meet him. And Freddy with the crucifix bomb onto the concrete floor at ringside. 
Freddie hops back into the ring. Smash Sanchez and Lex Cassidy both down to the count at ringside. So Freddie, oh no. Once again, the DDT onto the apron. Lex Cassidy coming over to help out his partner. Unloads on Freddie Gonzalez. Drives the knee into the face of the Puerto Rican assassin. Into the steel steps he goes. Smash Sanchez coming over now. The referee losing control of this match. Warning Smash Sanchez trying to get him back to his corner. Looks successful. At a seven count. An eight count. And a nine count. Freddy slides in just under the gun. And let's, oh no. Is that enough to finally get the victory for the Brotherhood? No. Shoulder up by Freddy Gonzalez. Intestinal fortitude on display from the Puerto Rican assassin. But how much left does he have in the tank? Reversed into the corner. And Freddy turns him around and heads for a well-needed tag. Smash Sanchez in there now. Oh, launches Zeke. Turns his attention to Cassidy, but Cassidy fights back. Look at the size of these two in the ring. Smash Sanchez living up to his namesake right now. Reversed into the corner. Big clothesline from Lex. And now, hot shots. Freddy to the outside. Lex looking to end this match. Nails him. Leg hooked. This could be it. One, two, three. And after an incredible match, the Brotherhood emerge with another two points to take the lead in the tournament. What a finish from Alex Cassidy. And now with six points, the Brotherhood in the lead in the tournament, and I believe they still have one more match to go at the pay-per-view itself. So we are going to have to see. They may wind up with eight. Eight would definitely take it, I would think, at this point. But man, oh man, what a match. What a victory. We might be looking at the next tag team champions, guys, right there. It's entirely possible. Announcer in the ring because for the main event, the Twitch Championship is once again up for grabs. Whom has the Rando Lando Wheel of Destiny bestowed its favor upon? Oh, baby. We know that Tron. We know that song. We know that logo. It is Dominic Felix, the rookie getting his first opportunity for gold here in the RLWF, despite the fact that technically the Twitch Championship is purple and silver, but gold metaphorically. I think the, the Cure, you guys were tied, but I think the Cure had a match in hand, so I'm not 100% sure. I have to check and see. Basically, everyone's going to have the same amount of matches in the tournament. So, uh, everyone's going to have the same amount of matches. So, whatever the point total is at the end. I think you guys both have a match at the PLE, I believe. But I'm not sure. Dominic Felix getting the crowd going. Dominic Felix obviously excited. A huge opportunity. Fans still going. Look at this. No problem, Daniel. Thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, your Twitch champion representing armed and dangerous Big Daddy, Remy Haynes, looking to defend that Twitch championship again. 
Obviously, probably a little bit bummed out about that loss to the Brotherhood in the last match, but carrying the torch for Armed and Dangerous, trying to salvage something from the evening. Belt on the line, a huge opportunity for Dominic Felix. But Remy, looking strong, looking confident. That is what is up for grabs, the beautiful Twitch Championship. Brought to you by the Norm Can't Shoot channel. The Norm Can't Shoot channel, now with 40% more Minecraft. Introducing the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 204 pounds. Dominic Felix. I love the tattoo work. I gotta, I, listen, I'm looking to get more ink done, all right? So maybe I gotta go ask Dominic where he gets his work done. Also, good work here on Remy Haynes. Listen, we have some great tattoos. If you're watching on YouTube, post below best tattoos on the RLWF. I think you got two strong contenders right here in the ring. The past doesn't matter. I mean, obviously, my tattoo is the best, but second place, second place. Dominic Felix, a golden opportunity here. Would love to come out of here with that belt around his waist, but no easy feat against Big Daddy Remy Haynes, who has been strong since winning that belt, let me tell you. There's the bell beating uh, Darth Brooks. The last time he had the belt up for grabs. No easy feat there, that's for sure. And Remy plants him with the side slam. Indeed, true. Zeke also a very strong candidate. We've got some great... Listen, I know you're not, I know you're not a fan. Jocko also a great tattoo. I, I gotta give it to him. You gotta give credit where credit is due. I mean, I think Smiley Sinner has everyone beat by volume. But... Might be a little much. And boom! Spine Buster. Felix sends him into the corner, but nice counter from Haynes. Has him up. Nice counter from Felix. Springboard connects. There's the pin trying to win that championship, but only gets the one. We got a, more work to be done. Dominic Felix, and he's doing it top rope. And connects with the headbutt. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good Lord. Zeke waiting might have another announcement. The Brotherhood making moves, ladies and gentlemen. Right ahead of the, right ahead of the PLE as well. Unbelievable. Dominic Felix, meanwhile, putting in a good show here against Remy Haynes. Irish whip and... Oh, goodness. What an arm drag. Has him up, dropped off that top rope. Stomping away. Remy's got to roll out of the ring. Dominic, though, threw the middle ropes. You did, Styles. Sorry, this is the last This is the last match. Once we're done, I'll, I'll release the VOD, so that's no problem. You can check it out afterwards. I'm going to try and get this out on YouTube tomorrow as well. So. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. No, no, he, uh, Dominic Felix is, oh, I'm blanking on the name. He is a community member, but it's not JC, no. JC's guy is on, uh, is on, uh, on shock. And Felix from the top rope drops the elbow all the way to ringside. Dominic Felix. Leaving it all out there in the ring. Trying to get that championship. And 
And Felix. Taking a little break. Of course, Dominic Felix does not want a countout victory because that will not get him the belt, as we have learned time and time again. Springboard crossbody connects. There's the pin. Has he finally done enough? It's middle of the ring. There's going to be no rope breaks. One, two only. Dominic Felix just knows how close he was to the championship right there. And now, the big knee hooks the leg. Is that enough? Are we going to see a new champion? We are! Dominic Felix has done it. The rookie has won the Twitch Championship. Here is your winner. And new internet. New, in, a new Twitch. I almost said internet champion myself. New Twitch champion. Dominic Felix wins the belt versus Remy Haynes and. Right at the last minute, the Brotherhood have announced that King Kyle has joined the Brotherhood as well. This is absolute madness. Blaze and King Kyle both joining the Brotherhood in one night. A shot across the bow of the Cure. I mean, quite frankly, a shot directly into the bow of the Cure. Let's be honest. The Cure are not going to be happy. Yuv is not going to be happy. Oh my goodness, unbelievable. What a what a stacked lineup the Brotherhood is amassing here. And uh, let me tell you, listen, it's only going to get crazier, ladies and gentlemen, because we got the PLE coming up this weekend. We're going to see what the ramifications of these new signings are. It's Listen, now is the perfect time. If you're not already subscribed to the Norm Can't Shoot channel, drop a sub, drop a like. You got to see how all this plays out. The action is only getting crazier and crazier here in the RLWF, and we'd love for you to watch with us. All right? Thanks again to everybody in chat. Thank you for Zeke for staying up until God knows what hour. Thank you, and Daniel as well. Thank you, guys, everybody, for coming to chat. Thank you very much for people following on YouTube, and I will see you soon for Shock. Don't forget PLE coming up.